It's time for Food Adventure, Adventure Program for Awesome, awesome people. people, the Ramen Hack Edition. We're gonna hack that ramen. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take our machete. You're gonna hack the I'm gonna ramen? hack that ramen so good. A long time ago, I did a kind of ramen at home video. Now you have to whip the egg into some kind of a delicious and soft froth. A lot of people seem to be amazed by what I added to my ramen, which I thought was kind of normal, but turns out it was not normal. So what we want to do today is we're going to head over to a local convenience store and we're going to buy a bunch of different ramen. And by a bunch, I mean two. Two. And show you a couple different ways to make the ramen. We're going to show you how to eat ramen like a professional ramen eater. This is how it's done so you don't look like a newbie when you're in this country. We probably are professional ramen eaters on our free time. No, 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 no. Okay, so Martina's a little bit crazy cakes when it comes to what she's gonna add to a ramen. I have a very simplistic approach. Today, I'm going with the ramen bulky, which is a drainable kind. You have to puncture holes and you have to drain the water and then you mix everything up. The only two things that I'm going to add are very simple. Number one, a slice of cheese that adds thickness to it. And number two, most importantly, some ranch. You should never leave home without a bottle of ranch. This one has my name on it. I'm sorry, I just can't even believe you put that in your jacket with you this whole time and smuggled it here. You are gonna complain. I'm just adding a little bit of ranch. Forty dollars. Raw ranch. Oh. Raw raw. Sispumba. Simon, I want you to make you have a problem. I want you to admit it. My problem is that your hands are on my ranch, and it's about to become your problem if you don't hand that back to me. What are you gonna do about it? You might notice that as soon as you fill your uh, bowl with water, it winds up all the steam coming out. What do you do to keep it in place? Here's a clever trick. You take your chopsticks without cracking them open. You put them over the lid like this, so it makes a seal. This is what professional ramen eaters <laughs> do, okay? I've just given you the inside stuff. So I didn't drain all the liquid. You need a little bit of moisture in there, otherwise packages aren't gonna work well. First thing you put in is the cheese so that you can still keep some of the warmth in there. Put that cheese right there. Cover the cheese with the noodles so that the noodles can warm up the cheese. Next. This is a really poorly planned video. <laughs> We're gonna say to panic here. Add the rest of the sauce that you're supposed to add. Add all that bad boy. Ah, what's this stuff? In it goes. <laughs> so, oh, this is supposed to really. <laughs> That's okay. No, I, I prefer it to be drier and crispier. It adds a texture and crunch to your thing. <laughs> 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 And then you add the ranch. How much ranch would you add, would you say? Enough for flavor. Mix it up before everything gets cold in this cold, barren winter wasteland. This here, ladies and gentlemen, is professionally made ramen. See all that? Look at how delicious that is. Is it good? It was great. Yeah? I usually do this with the cheese bulky, which is like ramen meets macaroni and cheese. I didn't have any this time, so I used the raw bulky. Still absolutely fantastic. Still works great with ranch. <laughs> Lovely. What does it taste like, Simon, for people who don't know what duck bulky and raw bulky taste like? Yeah. How do you describe the taste of duck bulky? It's like vinegary tomato pepper sauce. Try it. It's got ranch in it. Come on. You've never had this before. This is your first time ever. But you've ruined it. Ranch. Important detail about Martina. She does not like ranch. Get that on your chin. There you go. Thanks, Simon. Actually, you know what this tastes like? Deliciousness. It totally tastes like a, uh, like a, is it margarita pizza? Margarita? Mar margarita. Yeah, it tastes like cheese. It tastes like you've got the tomato sauce, but uh -huh. it's spicy. Uh -huh. And then it's got that creaminess that the ranch is adding, which is actually quite good in there. Yeah, guys. Yeah. <laughs>
All right, I chose my base, Shin Ramen, my favorite. I happen to like really spicy food. So I'm starting with this as a base. I'm going to be adding to it a slice of processed cheese. Then I'm gonna take it to another level. I'm gonna add a pack of kimchi to my ramen. I like to use the old kimchi because it has a more strong, pungent, not to your face kind of taste. You can use fresh kimchi if you want, but that's kind of lame -o. Then I'm gonna level this up even further. Bam! This is pretty much freeze-dried squid. And on the back, I also read a little bit of hongol, which kind of scares me because I'm pretty sure that's fermented stingray. But it's like 40 cents, you just dump it in, bam, extra flavor. Then I'm going to be adding a hard-boiled egg. Now, these puppies are, are kind of hard to find. Korea has lots of hard-boiled eggs that have been so hard-boiled that you could murder somebody with them and that are really chewy and poorly. Poorly always tries to find this magic, magic egg. This one is kind of soft boiled, so the inside is still ooey and gooey, but not like runny. This is the puppy you want to add to your ramen. You want to add a puppy to your ramen? Not like an actual puppy, not like, oh, oh, I'm a puppy, but like this kind of like the puppy of, you know, what I'm saying. Get out of here, Simon. You're going to have your own time to talk. Lee, could you put in the face of Simon and then add on top of that some kind of like a face thing that keeps him from talking and then maybe a pile of poop on his head? <laughs> You might think that I've gotten a huge amount of things for this tiny bowl, and you're probably right. Just gotta get that juice, man. Gotta get that kimchi juice. Oh, what about my cheese, you say? I will be adding my cheese in the last two minutes or so because it's really cold, and if I add it at the beginning, it can actually alter the temperature of the water, and then my ramen noodles won't cook as well, and I definitely want them to cook really well, so I'm gonna add it near the end when, it, when it's actually almost ready to go. My story. All right, I set my timer for four minutes and I told you before I did not add my cheese, but I did unwrap it so it's ready to go and I'm going to leave it on top of the lid to warm it. I have discovered that if I'm not at home and on a stovetop, if I add the cheese right away, it is so cold that as it liquefies, it just doesn't let anything else cook properly. So I just put it on the lid to warm. It's still in its plastic because it actually will get stuck to the lid when it melts. Not that I know that from experience of melting a piece of cheese to a lid. Not that I scraped the cheese off the lid and put it in my ramen anyways. <laughs> All right, I got two minutes left on the clock. I'm gonna pop in this slice, which is, ooh, already toasted warm and getting goopy. Whew. It's in. All right, timer's up. Now, important thing, this is gonna be ramen hack number three. Do not throw away your lid. We are gonna be using this wonderful lid to help us keep from spilling stuff all over our bodies. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that egg. Hold these for me. Simon's version of holding. I want to lose them. All right, I got my lid. I'm gonna fold it in half. Then I'm gonna fold it in half again. Then I'm gonna make a crane and I'm gonna throw that crane at Simon. And that's my ramen hack number three. Just joking, just joking. Okay, if I had a bigger bowl of ramen, I'd go for this way. And what I would do is just pull this open here. And now I've got myself a little tiny waterproof bowl so that when I eat my ramen noodles, I can let them cool before I actually let them touch my mouth and scald myself. But this is a pretty small lid, so I'm gonna go for the Martina version, which is just folding it in half once, and then I just actually fold it in, and I've got a bigger bowl to work with. There's really no wrong way of doing this unless you have a hole at the bottom in which the broth will leak upon you. Kept them safe actually saw some spittle um, on those chopsticks. I want you to note that Martina's little cup right here is a professional ramen hack, but it's not really necessary. As you can see with me, I don't need a middleman. I don't need a second bowl. I just dump things directly into my mouth. Okay. My mouth serves as the bowl. Hang on to the fence in the ramen hack. I actually have liquid in mine. So the whole point is that when I scoop up the hot liquid, it gives it a chance to cool down. Like a sissy. You're supposed to just grab the whole thing and chug it. That's something that Simon might do because see, look, he chews yeah. with his mouth yeah. open all uh -huh. the time. See, look. I thought all the junk uh, that you were gonna put in there wasn't mm, gonna be that good. It was actually makes it taste a lot better. It tastes amazing, I know. Shin ramen is good on its own, but the kimchi adds a whole new flavor level. Can I please get my ramen? It has a now? little punchy pungency to it. You notice <laughs> Simon is already done with his ramen. <laughs> I've been done for like 20 minutes. I'm bored. How long is this noodle? Would you like to try some of my ramen in a ramen cup? Uh-oh. <laughs> I smell a skill-testing question. If you don't want any ramen, I understand. No, I want to try some. Okay. 
All right, Lee, this is a really tough one because I really love ramen and don't want to share this with you. Sing me the tune of any 2 p.m. song. Any 2 p.m. song that you want, you can sing it. Any 2 p.m. song. Uh, 2 a.m. is unacceptable, but 2 p.m. of any age range. Uh, Including the J Park era 2 p.m. But a J Park song does not count. Ad Toy is, is, is 2 p.m., isn't it? Can Correct. you sing Ad Toy? Uh, no. Do 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 Chew it up. Are you retching into Martina's cup? That's oh, revolting. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at, can you please? It's like a cat dry heaving <laughs> into the cup. Lee, are you choking? Do the international symbol of choking and I will help you. No, she's just I so happy. I think the cup is now unusable. Do you really want to use that cup anymore? <laughs> Look, she's snotted all over inside of it now. Well, I'll be sticking to my bowl. <laughs> you know what? I'm... You know what? You keep it. Thanks for sharing, Martina. You're welcome. <laughs> What happened there exactly? <laughs> so that's it for this week's food adventure program for awesome people. I'm sleepy. I hope that we taught you some very useful professional ramen hacks. Remember the chopsticks, remember the lid cup, and remember all the cool things you gotta add to your ramen to level it up. And even if you don't live in Korea and you can't add all the cool stuff, you can at least add some of it. Like, don't forget that cheese, son. Cheese is vital. Don't mm. forget that ranch. And don't try using real cheese, because that does not work, let me tell you. Fake cheese is the only all way to go way. for fake noodles. Mm, processed cheesy uh, goodness. Give me that MSG. With the wrapping paper. I don't think uh, there's MSG in cheese. Give me that. Unnatural corn byproducts. Is that inside of cheese? Something. I know that majority of food in America is made out of corn. But we're in Korea. Yeah, but that's American cheese. Made in Korea. Yeah, they make it American style, don't they? And put corn in it? <clears throat> no, guys?